Welcome back to challenge four. I hope you're having a really good day. Let's have a look at the model. This one looks less complicated than challenge three. I like to start from a more complex view. In this case, it's the top view, and that's because it has the most degrees of freedom. So let's head into solve space and start the sketch. Inside solve space, I'm going to click on the arc tool. Click and drag and constrain these points to be on the y-axis by selecting the constraint point on line. And same thing with this one. The diagram is not very clear, but it looks like the diameter of the semicircle is 60 millimeters. So I've selected it and I'm clicking on constrain distance, making it 60. And as always, I like to put the measurements outside the shape. Now we've got two degrees of freedom left in the model, and that's because I can move this point around in the plane. So let's constrain that point or the center of the circle to be at the origin. And we have an error in the properties panel, and that's because it's telling us that we don't have a closed contour. So let's head into sketch line segments tool and begin to draw the general outline of the top view. And this is just a rough outline. Now let's constrain these lines to be horizontal and vertical. I want these lines to be equal in length, so I'll select them and hit the constrain equal length. And these two lines need to be equal in length. That one needs to be horizontal. Now we have three degrees of freedom, and that's because we need to specify the length of this line. And that is 10 millimeters. We still have two degrees of freedom left. That's because we need to constrain the length of these two lines and type in 38. And I always like to put my uh, measurements outside of the shape as well. We've got one degree of freedom left and that's because I need to specify the length of this line. With uh, zero degrees of freedom, I can now extrude this model and give it a depth of 20 millimeters. So having worked from the top view, we already have this cut in there. So we've simplified our workflow. Now let's start with a hole. So I'll select the point and create a new work plane. Hit the circle tool, specify the diameter, which is 30 since the radius is 15 millimeters. Now we've got zero degrees of freedom and we can extrude the model, taking the difference and making the extruded points here flush with this surface. So I'll select the point on the surface and select the constraint points on plane. Hitting the isometric view here to get the closest isometric view from that angle. Going to properties panel, hiding everything. And that's challenge four completed. Let's head on to challenge number five.